Coming right up is DC News number 178. It's a super size me edition of DC News. We're going to talk about, oh, DC's got three, count them, three weekly series, and we're going to give you the lowdown on that third series and what it might be. Also, Superman's going to have a big, big fight with a guy who almost killed him once before but didn't. We're going to let you know all about that. Keith Griffin's got some hot news on Justice League 3000. The new Kryptonian on Earth 2, Val, he's going to get bumped way up on the roster. And we're going to wrap it all up with the big Johnny Romita Jr. news over at DC. All that and more coming right up right after the snow ends, which may mean we never get to it. Here at Alternate Reality, for every $50 you ring up over there on the register, we're going to give you one of these. An Alternate Reality Back Issue Buck. Now, each Back Issue Buck is good for $5 worth of either boxed back issues, clearance comics, or variant cover sets. Now, these are good forever. They never expire, and you can either use them one at a time or bank them all up and come in and do a shopping spree. That's just another way that your money works harder here at Alternate Reality. When I have diarrhea, I stay home. DC News! You know what I miss? The feeling in my extremities. <laughs> DC Comic Book News, episode 178, Delirious Solicious. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic ah. Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video. Hot house. Hey, nice. Belchy, what time is it? It's DC News time. DC oh, News know. time. Come on, bring up another one. DC News know. time, coming to you from this place. Alternate reality, look at the intersection of Olympic Kedzie. Well, you know, I like Green with alternate reality where the snow never ends. <laughs> Yeah. This DC edition of Video Outhouse, we're going to do a Super Size Me edition, and it's going to start off with the third, third, third weekly series that DC has planned. Rumors say that it might be Superman, but rumors also say that it might be... A new current rumor says that it actually will be an Earth 2-based weekly two, book. Which still could have Superman in it. Well, Superman is in Earth 2. Well... Superman on Earth 2 is an evil son Well, he's a bit. cranky guy. He's yeah. very, very cranky, but, but if, if you pay attention, that will change with something. There'll be something cool going on with the Superman characters mm -hmm. in that book. So. But yes, it could be, so that's, it'll be three. Now, if there's, if there's Batman a Batman Eternal. Book, Batman Eternal, uh, Future's End, an Earth 2 book, and you'll probably still get the Superman Probably book. an Earth 2 book. Uh, well, they've been talking to people, so I don't know, but I don't, Earth 2, I mean, well, Tom, the guy took over, are sales any better? Are sales, are sales even on Earth 2? Sales, um, sales are about the same as they were before. Are they consistent? They, the sales have dropped a little bit over the last six months, but nothing terrible. But sales have dropped across the board, at least here at the store. I can't tell you about nationwide. But here at the store, New 52 sales have been slipping a bit. Marvel sales have been slipping a lot. But New 52 sales have been slipping a bit over the last uh, couple of months. Marvel's doing less books, though. So. Marvel's restarting their line again for the thir tw second or third time. Anyway, uh, this is DC News and Superman. Superman. One of the biggest deals with Superman is when he fights Doomsday. Doomsday, Who which kills is him? coming up. He kills him. Well, well he's going to kill him again. No, no. We did that already. No, I, I, well, actually, if you follow New 52 continuity, he never died. <laughs> never happened. If you follow New 52 continuity, nothing happened before New it's 52. True, never anyway, happened. So, so happen. we're going to get a crossover. It's going to involve Action Comics, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. The crossover will lead into this summer's big plans for Superman, which will be part of what we're going to announce at last. Part of what we'll announce last. So, but until then, Keith Giffen says that Justice League 3000, that book, the characters are not... Clones. No clones! He, Keith Giffen did an interview with News Around. <coughs> he made it quite clear that anytime you ask him a question about Justice League 3000, he was going to lie to you. Oh. He said, yes, so they're they clones. Are, so they are clones. No, no, he said they're clones. People went, are they clones? And he went, no, they're not clones. I was lying to you. Uh... In issue number four, we'll see how the team was formed and how they could really exist in the 31st century. They are not clones. They're not. You're sure? Yeah. You're positive. I swear. Are they replicants? No. Well, they, well replicants actually technically aren't clones, so they could be replicants. They could be. But then again, you have to deal with the Philly K. Dick estate, and you'd be lawsuits, oh. and really Scott's Blade More Runner would be screwed up. More are trouble they still worth. comic book characters? They are still comic book characters. That explains it all. They're sentient, in fact. They read Great. Themselves. Meanwhile, Val, the new Kryptonian character, if you've been reading the Superman books, the new Kryptonian character. Oh, well, he's in Earth 2. Well, Earth 2. Yeah. He's going to be he's doing be what, according to Tom Taylor? Tom Taylor says, you know, uh, I'm writing a, what, he read a video game book. He's writing Earth 2. Every time he involves Superman, his Superman's a jerk. Yes. So he said, I'd really like to write a Superman character that's a nice and friendly guy. So you Val. Mean a Kryptonian character. A, a new Kryptonian character. They're always obnoxious, evil, twisted sons of guns. So he said, Val, this kid is being raised, you know. He's actually going to become a superhero soon, and he'll be a good Superman. Mm. 
He also says that Alan Scott will return to the book soon, but he says you may look at him in a different way when it happens. He's not going to be and gay the, anymore? He, well, he'll still be gay, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. and, and he says, you know, you, the, what Dr. Fate is saying, he's really not crazy. It's true. He's okay. not crazy. Supersized edition of DC News. The big, 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 huge. big, huge story, which big. we which we covered. We we talked about this story back yeah. when we were on the road yeah. in front of Moons of Uranus yes, we were. in DC News number, mm -hmm. I don't remember what it is, 169, I think, or something. 168, 169. Mm -hmm. We talked about this, mm -hmm. that DC was casting their line mm -hmm. for a big talent who might be and who has become... It's John Romita Jr. John Romita Jr. John Romita Jr. He decided not to renew the <coughs> Marvel contract, his exclusive Marvel contract. He, Jeff Johns, who had to cut a whole bunch of books because Diane Nelson said you can only write two books a month, so he's writing Justice League and Superman and Klaus Jansen, who's going to ink the book for John Romita Jr. Jansen's also going to do some other stuff. He's going to do covers and he's going to write some things. But that'll be the new creative team in Superman this summer. Johns has already said he's going to be introducing a new character that'll kind of reset Superman in his universe in the new 52. So, sounds like a restart to me. I don't know about you. <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe it'll be a new 52 version of, of the new 52 Superman. Now, this was something people, people were talking about this on Facebook when it came out, and I made a point relatively specifically. Ten years ago, Ramita Jr. going over to DC was a big deal. Now, it's not as much of a big deal as it was. Oh, it's still a big deal. Ramita it's Jr. a big deal it's because, a, he's, it's only, a, it's because a, he's only worked at Marvel. Yeah, so this it's is a, a Romita right. at DC, right. which doesn't happen. That would be like a Busima being at DC, which doesn't happen. Well, that happened. Or, no, Stephanie worked there. Well, no, Sal. No, Sal worked over there as well. Sal worked over. Sal, what did Sal work on? Sal worked on some DC stuff for a did short he? period of time. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, can't it wasn't. It wasn't a very long thing because it was at the point where they were taking all of Marvel's older artists who Marvel was not giving work to, and they were like, "Well, if you want to do something, and you can do a deadline here, do this thing." I mean, it wasn't anything long term. It wasn't a regular series, but yeah, Sal did some work over there. Well, Sal was on uh, the Spider Girl book for a long he time. He was on the Spider Girl book because that's another book where they went, "Well, we like you, Sal, so we're going to give you some work because you're an older guy. And most older guys don't get a lot of work." But ten years ago, this would have been a bigger deal. Now it's a big deal, but it's not as big a deal as it used to be 10 years ago. And DC's magical hope is this will pump Superman sales up a little higher. Johns, Ramita Jr., and Jansen could do that. Um, the Scott Lobdell, Kenneth Roquefort stuff, it looked a little flashy, it looked a little shiny, and it didn't exactly draw a lot of people into it. And he's still wearing the same costume that he hates. So it's not yes, I hate, that that I hate that costume. Dan Jurgens, remember when Dan Jurgens came over? Not Dan Jurgens. Um, um, Dan Bagley, 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 yeah. Bagley. When Bagley came over, from uh, Marvel, Mark when Mark Bagley, yeah, right off, right off of Ultimate Spidey, when he came over from to DC, he did that uh, weekly. He series. did uh, Trinity. He Trinity. Did Trinity. He did Trinity, and it was the big deal. We've got this big Marvel, big Marvel git. Nobody cared. Well, because <laughs> Mark Bagley's a guy who's consistent, hits his deadlines, but he's not what you call a superstar artist. No. Personally, I think Ramirez's style works better on Batman than Superman, so this yeah. is going to be interesting because I mean his blocky. Old school style would work better with a character like that, and he has a darker tone. Superman. Well, Romita made his bones off of Spider Man. Yeah. So, so, I mean, it would make sense if he'd be doing Batman instead of Superman, but we'll see. Hmm. Okay. At least the book will ship on time. So, that means, Jeff Johns, your scripts need to be on time because Romita can work well in advance of everyone else. He can still write fast. Get to it, son! Get to it! Right! Right. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up there so Jeff Johns can get back to work. That's it. We're done. We're finished right here. We got no more DC news. Johns, get back to work. Stop smoking. No, Till then, though, if you're looking for more DC news, where are you gonna find it at? Bo, uh, where? Sarah, Sarah, let Sarah, go. Let's go. go. Now. Chop, chop. Let's go. www.myoutrentrally.com. I went there once. Once. Cool. So go to the store's website. Check out all the news that this man sends me that I post up there, Bo. Yes. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>